Hello, uh, my name is Stephen Kelman. Today I'm going to talk to you a bit more about uh, typography and grid systems in particular. I'd like to talk about this type of grid system, which is aligned to both your baseline and your modular grid. Um, so you'll see that there. So the top of our uh, picture boxes uh, aligns to the top of our copy. Uh, and we've also got uh, a captions grid as, the, as well there with um, separate grey guides for our captions. Uh, now for this demonstration you'll see I've got the this grid system already open. Uh, as usual, uh, you can purchase this uh, layout along with others in the series from the links below the video. Now I'll talk you I'll talk you through uh, this grid system then I'll, I'll walk you through how to create one yourself if you want to do that. So like I was saying our body copy here you can see it's aligned to the baseline grid and if we have a look at our styles we see where all lines are aligned to the baseline grid. Uh, we also have our pictures caption grid like I was saying and that is aligned to our baseline grid as well. Now one interesting thing with this grid is we've got enough room to have two lines of captions if we've got uh, picture captions, uh, longer picture captions. Let me see if we can do this. So if I just extend that out, you'll see there, obviously. We align our first um, first line to the baseline but the second one sits on its own so if you go into our styles there and the, the spacing and you'll see there it's aligned to the first line only so it's just a nice way to keep everything within the the same system but give us that flexibility of having two lines of captions um depending on your on your content so let's go ahead now that we've we've got this uh i've shown you this system let's go ahead and see how we can kind of create something like that so let's create a new page and I will change our uh, margins back to how they were originally. Right, so this is some, how you might start off. You've got your baseline grid aligning, um, you've got your margins neatly aligning with our uh, baseline grid um, and we just want to create our uh, modular grid now. So we go to create guides and we are 23 because we are wanting two of our, our baseline unit which is 11.5 in this instance we are aligning to margins and then we want to create our modular grid so i think in this one we can actually have 12 the way it's set up we can have 12 uh, rows but let's change it to six just to make it easier for now So that says there. So this is how you'd kind of normally start off with your baseline grid and your uh, modular grid. Now, as I was saying, when we're working like this, you know, with this type of grid, this is how it would it would set up. So your, um, if you remember the editorial design tutorial, you'll remember this is. Uh, Let's just change that to turn off smart guides. You remember that one issue with this is our images don't align to our body copy, the top of our body copy, and they also our body copy doesn't align to the top of our headers, things like that. So it's Depending on um, the type of content you're working with, it can be a bit, um, yeah, it's, it's not as accurate. So what we want to do is just create this system that we were talking about before, something that um, has that has that extra level of accuracy. Um, I mean, I, th I think this is particularly useful for um, instances where there might be more than one person working on the job. Uh, the the layouts might need to be used over and over again, so presentation boards, that kind of thing. Maybe it's an architect or architecture studio or practice design and marketing agencies. 
that kind of thing. But any anywhere where you really need a tight a tight system, but uh, it's going to be it's going to be used again and again. So if you've got if you've got nice tight um, tight style sheets and uh, baseline grid, modular grid layout, then you can use it again and again, and everything looks cohesive. So that's what we're going for. So back to our example here and how we want to create our original uh, original grid system. So here's what we have here. So as usual, we want to take an F because that's our, the top of a body copy. And we'll, let's turn on Smart Guides. Let's uh, Command Shift O, convert that to outlines. And we, or before that, that was obviously sitting on the baseline. So let's convert that to outlines. Um, we've got Smart Guides on. So we want to just get the unit between our uh, top margin and uh, the F8 of our body copy, which in this instance is 4.179. Now, might be able to see where this is going, but all we want to do now is go to layout, margins and columns. So let's add that on to our top margin. We can now delete that uh, guide. So our top margin now aligns uh, to our F8s of our body copy. And then all we want to do is make sure that the uh, the modular grid aligns to the F82. So all we want to do, let's select the bottom of all of our uh, picture caption guides. So that in this instance there's uh, five of them, and then we just go up to our y-axis, and then we're just adding in that additional number. So that's us. So you see there. Our, okay, let's make sure we've got the right gutter settings. And turn off smart guides. So now you'll see how we've created this grid system. Very simply just editing the editing the mark the top margin and our guides using the F8 as our unit for for the calculation. So you see there uh, if we've got a a header something like that that'll align nicely to our guides as well our f heights in a body copy and importantly our um, our images now there was one final thing that we did there we did for the uh, original layout and that is our image captions uh, guides so if you want to drop in um, yeah, either one or two lines of captions. Uh, super simple. Now, obviously, you could just work without the guides uh, as such. But if you wanted to drop in your guides just to make it super obvious uh, how, how we're working, just drag a drag a guide down, and then you go to uh, you control click, and you can change that to a color that you want. And obviously, you just repeat that. Uh, for the remaining guides. Okay, well, I think I think that's it. I hope that that made sense. Obviously, this is uh, a different a different technique to working with your your kind of standard F height grid, as I've spoken about in the in the editorial design video. But you'll see this this is maybe more suitable for um, instances where there might be a few people working on a job or you need it to be as simple as possible um, yeah across the board but you've all you've always got the F8 grid there if you want to 
uh, had it for reference. You know, it's always it's always there. But yeah, this is just a way of having a grid system that you don't need to look at the baseline grid. You don't need to look at the F8 grid. It's just super simple. Um, yeah, and I think I think that's it for now. Um, see if there's an app I've missed, but yeah. No, if uh, if you found this tutorial useful, um, please like and subscribe. And remember, you can uh, always purchase uh, this grid system and the others in the series from the links below the video.